I decided like I am going to go on a diet. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stop eating. I'm gonna eat healthy. I'm gonna eat vegetables and fruits, which I don't usually eat. But I'm gonna try to be healthy and maybe hopefully lose some weight. So that's that was my plan yesterday. And today morning, I woke up. And my stomach was grumbling. I couldn't breathe because I was so hungry. Like I could physically feel my stomach shrinking, and like acid coming up my throat. It was so bad. So I decided to go to the fridge. And I opened the fridge, and thank you, mom. She bought a whole box of donuts. And then I was, I, I was, I told myself, I'm just gonna look at it. I'm just gonna peek at it. I'm just gonna have a tiny look and then I'll close it because I'm gonna die. So then. I opened the lid, and as soon as I opened the lid, I saw heaven. It was like this round little donut thing with cream on top, and I was, I was like, I started breathing fast. Like my, I was mouth, my mouth was like watering, and I was just going crazy. And then, of course, I tried to control myself, so I put the lid down and I sat on my butt. And then my mom goes, Lisa, aren't you gonna have a donut? You know. It's good. I bought it. Don't you want to have a donut? And I told my mom, no, mom, I, I am not going to eat it. I am either going to love it or I'm going to leave it. And in this case, even though I do love it, I'm going to leave it for my benefit. Of course, it didn't work out. I ate like three donuts in the morning, and I was having like a sugar rush. Anyways, that's not the point because I believe love is more like obsession. It's Love can get into obsession. I mean, you can love peacefully, quietly, by yourself or with a person, or with some object, inhumane object. It really depends on you know your. However, at one point, love can get into the point of obsession, and then you might have to leave it, even though you love it. And however, the point, the thing is that love and Love and leave are two extremes. You either like, you know, you want to be with it all day long, or you just want to keep your distance and stay away from it. However, I believe that this can be sort of balanced. Not love does not have to be like one thing, and leaving and letting it go doesn't have to be another thing. Quoting from Fairy Godmother from Shrek, my childhood favorite movie, until one of my friends showed me this. Uh, not very appropriate video of Shrek. Anyways, so Fairy Godmother said to um, Fairy Godmother said to Fiona, "If you love him, you let him go." And I agree. Actually, in fact, I strongly agree. You need to keep a balance. Everyone needs to keep a balance between loving and leaving. Because if one side is gets too much of attention, then it becomes unbalanced and it may tip off the scale, and you may lose both of it. For example, my aunt she was in deep love with this man, but then the problem is, my grandparents didn't like that man because not only. Did he go to a very, very, very bad college? But he worked in a farm. He cleaned um, pigs' feces and brushed their lovely hair. And their, you know, my grandmother's. My grandmother was like, "No, you are not. You are not loving him. You are leaving him." But then. She didn't want to, of course, because she was she was madly in love. But then she decided to leave him. She she decided, "Mom, you're right. You're so right." And she left him. She went to one of the extremes, and then she lost approximately twenty pounds in the span of three weeks. And she was, you know, she was malnutrition. She was suffering. She had to go to the hospital, and it was really bad. It was really really bad. And that story just taught me something that if you get into the extreme of either love or hate, not hate, excuse me, love or leaving it, then it's not gonna benefit you. You need to find like a nice little midpoint that you can, you know, sometimes love it, sometimes 
can be kind of sometimes obsessive with it, but then at, again, times, let it go. and the yada, yada, yada. That was nice, and you've got such a wonderful personality. The organization still seemed to have somewhere sort of like crumbled in the middle, um, and, and so a judge would have like gone, all right, how, how, how was that the prompt, and what, was, what were the ideas that you developed from the prompt? So um, uh, that's your challenge. Your challenge is to, and, and I don't know how you, you try to improve on that challenge, but one way might 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 be to just like get a prompt generator and give yourself sixty seconds and see if you can like actually plot out like a progression of ideas where you don't start spinning your wheels in the middle. You're not stuck uh, because from one fifty when you went from the diet story, love it or leave it, to to love is an obsession, you might have to leave it. And then you were talking about well, you shifted completely. You said. Actually, there are two extremes. Maybe you can do a balance. And, um, and then there was a Shrek quote, but it was like, okay, so where are we getting, well, we're spinning our wheels here in this, and um, what's your thesis sentence, basically? That you need to find a good balance point between loving it and leaving it. Okay, and so. Should I make it clearer, like? Yeah, yeah, you wanna, you want to, you wanna tell us what you're going to, where would I put it though? Where would I? Well, again, like the one minute mark is, uh, the one minute mark is always where, not always, the one minute mark is, is typically where people deliver on their, okay, I hit the prompt. I have built up to it. So I don't go, love or leave it, the way Sokka does. I like, I know that by 60 seconds, I want to start with some opening story. Went on a diet, went to the refrigerator, donuts, at one minute, although I loved it, I left it because you can't be on a diet if you love that too, whatever, right? And so, you know, you gotta do both. And another way, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got like uh, either a plan of things to talk about that also illustrated besides you and the donuts and the diet, um, or an improvisational direction to go to. It's like, that's what I'm arguing. So I'm lost right now, but I know I'm gonna get to that. So, so you know, when else do we see examples of don't? Be extreme. Don't love it. Expect to love it all the time, but don't leave it. Well, you know, and you ask yourself because you're trying to like keep going in the direction of that idea. Mm -hmm. That's if you can't in 60 seconds have a, a full plan. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm, the majority of people who get up here don't have a full plan, mm -hmm. but they don't get stuck. Have you thought of that idea of the balance between loving and leaving? Yeah. If that was your idea, and you think of it like a ball. Mm -hmm. So, like, you want to throw the ball away from you and make your way there. Pick it up, this is what I'm talking about, and then throw it again, and then come to it again, so that the theme sort of continues, to, it's recursive, it continues to come up um, throughout what you're doing, um, and if that stays at the heart of what you're doing, even, even if you're like, I'm not sure how I'm going to get back there, at least, you, like you said, if you know where you're going, you'll get there, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, and so at the one minute point, you should... To, to pick up that, that metaphor, at the one minute point you go, so, here you go. This is it. And then you throw it and you start going towards it. And then like, maybe 90 seconds later, you're done with your first illustration of that and you pick it up again and, yeah. Um, okay, can you go call a male? <laughs> yeah, I had asked if Seth could go next, just okay. so I could see him live okay. and in person. Good, good, good. So Seth. Who, Seth? Yeah. yeah.